there is meat on that bone with the tight end in the flat. Could get to a, a second and one, second and two situation. For CA, a bullet. That one finds its way to Stoneham. A gain of only five, maybe six yards. It'll be third down and four. Michigan choosing to throw the ball. Forcier rolls out towards three receivers. Throws one into traffic, and he's got a first down. Boy, he had Roy Roundtree wide open underneath for an easy first down conversion, and instead stuck it into Junior Hemingway, and it's first and goal at the six. Yeah, again, you know, he had he had his receiver open, and he's just, he prefers to do it the hard way. So there's... Trying to turn the corner of Shaw. He's got the cutback lane and a Michigan touchdown. for the point after. Snuck it inside. And Michigan scores a touchdown to start overtime. The center, David Malk, gets a great block. He gets position on the jet. And that's what frees Shaw. It's all about position at that center. And the seize part for Michael Shaw and a huge touchdown for the Michigan Wolverines. Shieldhouse on a keeper. The 10 inside the five yard line before he's bumped out. It'll be first and goal at the four. Shieldhouse, quarterback draw. Stopped inside the two. It'll be second down and goal. Play action. Shieldhouse rolls into the end zone and it's broken up. Intended for Evan Wilson, but Mouton was right on his hip, and Shieldhouse threw it a bit low. Shieldhouse on the quarterback draw, reaches for the chalk. They'll mark him down shy. It'll be fourth and goal at the one-foot line. Mouton saved the touchdown. They give it to LaShore, and he's in for the touchdown. Dinky to extend the game. He's got it, and we march on. 52-52, we go to our second overtime after a quick timeout here at Michigan. So we change ends, and Illinois starts the second overtime. Shieldhouse on a throwback, wide open, same play to LaShore for the touchdown. We see it again, and Michigan can't find Mikel LaShore for a second time. Fifty-nine, fifty-two, and LaShore was maybe more wide open that time than he was the first time. And we're not told why. Stayed on the Michigan sideline. It's been 4CA since. 4CA tries the same play that Illinois just ran. It doesn't go for a touchdown, but he finds Vincent Smith on that same wheel route for a first down. <laughs> well, I guess you draw it up in the dirt on the sideline. So it works for them. We'll try it as well. And uh, touche. Getting the ball back to uh, Vincent Smith on the on the back side. And... So it's first and 10 at the 11. Up the middle goes Smith. And he's inside the 10 for a gain of about two, maybe three. Nate Bussey came up to make the stop. 4CA, play action fake, slants one, tipped. in the corner made a great play on the slant route got his hand on the ball and we talked about the ball bouncing one direction or another for one of these teams and a very fortunate bounce for Tate Forcier and Junior Hemingway and a score 
59-59. And now you got to go for two. The third overtime in just a moment. Forcier on a keeper. And he picks up eight, close to nine yards on first down. Brought down by Akeem Spence. Forcier bounces it outside at the 10. That run by Tate Forcier with a flag out. Will put it at about the two and a half yard line. And that also takes us over 1,200 yards of total offense. And now there are two penalties on the play. After the play, personal foul, defense number 47. That is half the distance to the goal. The second penalty is after the play, personal foul, defense number nine. Half the distance to the goal again, automatic first down. So two personal fouls called against Illinois. And the second one was called on Trulon Henry, number nine there. I, I don't, it looked like he may have been trying to hold up Forcier. That's a good tackle to right there. No extracurricular. Maybe a little push at the end there. Maybe that's what it was. And there was a fan on the sideline that took a hard hit. Right up the middle goes Shaw. Is he in? No signal as of yet. Illinois thinks they got him stopped. Michael Buchanan was there to make the tackle, and they will say that Shaw is down just shy of the goal line. Forcier tries it himself, leaps, and he may have been stopped. He lost some yardage. Martez Wilson knocked him down at the one. It'll be third and goal. Trying to get a lead blocker with Vincent Smith on the front side of Martez Wilson just denies Tate Forcier and his attempt to get in the end zone. And I don't know if I got Michael Shaw in the backfield. He scored a couple times already. I may give him the ball, let him try to punch it in. Shaw's back there with Forcier again. This time it's Shaw. Right at the chalk. He's in. Touchdown, Michigan. And the Wolverines take the lead back. The two penalties playing big. Forcier running the ball and then finishing it off with a tough run by Michael Shaw. And that Illinois defense didn't let him in by much. Now you have to go for two. The ball put at the three-yard line. In the third overtime, you must go for the two-point conversion. Forcier rolls. Floats it in the end zone. He's got it again to Hemingway. Junior Hemingway has made play after play today, catching the ball, run after the catch. His patience and route running has been fantastic. And at 225 pounds, you see him up here. He's just going to come in and run a return route. You sprint out with the quarterback to give him time to run that route. He uses his physicalness. Make sure you don't push off but sell that slant route and then get back out and an easy throw and catch for Tate Forcier. But that play was made by the route of Junior Hemingway. So now Illinois has to score and go for two. Shieldhouse pitches it to LaShore and he's cut down. May have picked up a yard. The true freshman, Courtney Avery, came up to make the stop. Shieldhouse on a play action fake. Throws it back. Wide open is the tight end, Evan Wilson. And he's down to the 10 yard line. First and goal for Illinois at the 10. Shieldhouse tries to turn the corner. He's at the five. And brought down inside the three. Second down and goal. <laughs> Illinois has to get in the end zone and they have to go for two. Second and goal. LaShore. He's in! Touchdown! And now Illinois will go for two to try and keep the game alive. 
it's almost like the touchdown was a given. It's it's just all going to come down to the two-point conversion. You got one play. You need one stop. If you're Illinois, I still think you want to get Nathan Shieldhouse out on the edge with an opportunity to throw the ball if somebody's open or run it if they're not. If you're Michigan, you don't want to allow Shieldhouse to get outside the pocket. You may bring pressure from the edge to force him back up inside. Shieldhouse will try and throw for the two. He's under pressure. Nowhere to go. Michigan wins it. They finally decided to come with the blitz. They live by the blitz and they die by the blitz. This time they end up getting to Shieldhouse. Mouton comes off the edge. Rowe comes up the middle. And the effort by the Michigan defense, much blind to finally get it. Exasperated feeling and for Greg Robinson, sweet victory. Michigan and Rich Rodriguez finally gets a chance to celebrate. 67-65 the final. The Breeders' Cup World Championship. Up next, this has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Let's send it to Joe Tessitore in horse racing.